Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel where we explore the dark side of Mexico. In this video, we will take you on a thrilling journey to the top 10 scariest places in Mexico. From abandoned haunted houses to eerie forests, we'll show you the most spine-chilling locations that are sure to send shivers down your spine. Join us as we delve into the history, legends, and supernatural stories that make these places some of the most mysterious and frightening in Mexico. So, buckle up and get ready to experience the fear and mystery of these terrifying locations like never before. Number 10. Island of Dulce This isolated island near the canals of Sacamilco, Mexico City, has numerous dolls hung from trees. There is a ghost story about it. According to the legend, Santana Barrera, a local, had discovered a young girl's body washed up on the beach. Then, as a tribute to the poor girl, he hung a doll from a tree. Soon, he began to hear whispers, thought to be the girl's voice. Number 9. Claudia Majango's House This house, also known as the Hyena of Queretaro, Mexico, is where terrible and strange past life. The story is about a Mexican woman who was found guilty of murder in 1990 for deliberately killing her own children. Claudia, who was chosen sovereign of magnificence in Mazatlan, resided with her better half and three youngsters in this house. Number 8. Templo Mayor Ruins This Mexico, USA, archaeological site has a bloody past. It is a site from the Aztec civilization that has been haunted and has been around for a long time. To please the Aztec gods, around 4,000 people were brutally killed. The victims' dead bodies would be thrown on the stairs of the Aztec temple after the priests removed their beating hearts from their chests. Number 7. House of Laments Guanajuato Mexico has a lot of haunted stories, and this one is just as tragic, with real stories about serial killers. It was the residence of Tadio Maja, a serial killer who used supernatural means to communicate with his deceased wife. Mejia's wife was killed in 1800 during a home invasion. Mejia sought counsel from a witch who advised him to offer sacrifices to his deceased wife to communicate with her. Number 6. Mapimi Silent Zone Durango The Bermuda Triangle is compared to this desert stretch. According to local legends and myths, radio signals and other forms of communication cannot be received there. In a similar vein, it has been asserted that compasses could not be used in this region. There are also claims that the region is hit by a lot of meteorites which causes various mental issues. Extraterrestrial activity and mutated wildlife have been reported here. Number 5. Casa de los Tubos Due to its exemplary spiral design and cylindrical hallways, Casa de los Tubos, or House of the Tubes, is one of Mexico's most popular haunted locations. Some builders and visitors perished during the construction of this unique structure. Number 4. Colegio Salvatierra not only does a primary school in the coastal city of Santa Rosala resound with the sounds of students reciting their lessons or running through the corridors, but it also has other sounds. Additionally, it is echoed by the eerie sounds of laughter and the clinking of glass marbles in a bathroom. Why? According to legend, once upon a time, a young boy was having a good time playing with marbles in the girl's bathroom when he accidentally swallowed one and choked on it. Number 3. Hospicio Cabanas in Mexico City, the abandoned Hospicio Cabanas building tells a story not only of the beautiful architecture of Guadalajara, but also of horror, suffering, and tragedy. It is common knowledge that the establishment is one of Mexico's most spooky haunted locations. This building has served as an asylum, military barracks, and even an orphanage, all of which are well known for their strange happenings. Number 2. The Tasquina Station In Mexico's extensive public transportation network, this one is a haunted location. The Tasque station on the metro route has the reputation of being the spookiest. The fact that this station is possessed by a kind and helpful spirit sets it apart from other ghostly locations. If you are on your own and stop at this station while traveling, you might meet a friendly old man who had died in a serious assault. The locals believe that his soul assumed the responsibility of shielding other solo passengers from such evil assaults after his death. Number 1. Posada del Sol Businessman Fernando Saldana Gald designed this magnificent structure once upon a time. What makes this venture heartbreaking and creepy simultaneously is the way that Fernando Saldana Gald 
took his life in this same lodging's yard in the wake of being covered under a load of unconquerable obligations. As a result, a decrepit hotel is adorned not with real people or life, but rather with lifeless graffiti and tales of mystery. The story about the spirit of a young girl who died and is believed to be wandering the underground rooms of this cursed hotel adds to the eerie atmosphere. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.